For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's plain and simple. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. In a time that man will die, he will be a Bible believer. But by then, it's too late. It's too late after death. You don't get a second chance. You don't get a do-over. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ before you die. And that takes faith. There is absolutely nothing at all that can save your soul than that of the finished work of Jesus Christ. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus says he's the way, there is no other way. There is no means of religion. When religion dies, it gets buried and stays buried. When Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures, and they buried him, he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Religion is dead and buried. Jesus Christ is seated alive at the right hand of the Father now. Not of works, least any man boasts. It's the grace of God through Jesus Christ that will get you out of hell and not what you can do or your religion can do or try to do. The finished work of salvation for mankind is the finished work of what Jesus Christ upon Calvary's cross Upon the blood of Jesus Christ, which Acts 20:28 20, says, is the blood of God. The sinless Jesus Christ, who is God, suffered and died that we might have life. Now we, the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We are sinners, and the wages of sin is death. You're going to die because you are a sinner. But Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, has taken away the sin of the world. Now, I didn't say the church. I didn't say your work. I said the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. You have been deceived to think that what you are able to do will get you to a place called heaven. And you will find out too late that your way is not God's way. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God-approved. salvation. 
It is the long suffering of God that he has not called his bride away. God has given you one more day in his mercy to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and be saved. To hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and grow if you are saved. You're not saved without the shed blood of Jesus Christ. In the realm of religion is the realm of Satan. And in the realm of Jesus Christ is God. God has honored. God has accepted. God has approved what Jesus Christ has done. And a Christian is a person that has put their faith and their trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ. A religion is someone who has put their faith and trust in anything but Jesus Christ. And you may say, well, we have Jesus in our church. And Paul tells us in the letter to the Corinthians to beware because there is another Jesus. There is another spirit. And there is a, another gospel. And if you do not have the biblical Jesus, you are not following Jesus who is God. You're not saved. If you have a religious Jesus, you can take that Jesus into hell with you for all eternity. of the tribe of Judah, virgin born, who is God, who was manifested 100% God and 100% man, who suffered and died according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures that is seated at the right hand of the Father today, waiting for the time to rapture his church, who is sinless, who has no sin, who is the offering for man who has sin, who was in the very foundation of the world there as God with God, Jesus would be one that you would eat and drink his body. He violated Romans chapter, John chapter 10. If you do not have a Jesus that is God, you do not have the proper Jesus. If you have a Jesus that came to North America, you do not have the biblical Jesus. If you have a Jesus that loves to smoke pot and drink, that is definitely not the biblical Jesus. Paul tells us there is another Jesus. 
And you've got to be sure that the Jesus you are believing is the Jesus of the Bible. And not fantasy and some thought of a man's perverted mind. Or sin. Now the gospel has been perverted. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died before the
all men saved and lost will bow the knee before Jesus and proclaim, Jesus, thou art the Lord. Do it now for salvation. Do it now to be saved. Do it now repenting of your sins. Because when you do it to break white throne judgment, then you will hear, Jesus, Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you.